Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I'm Ashley and I'm a nurse educator and you are tuning into our weekly application of In the Know where we make it simple. Today we're applying our video where we use one concept to demonstrate to you how you can memorize massive amounts of electrolyte information. So if you didn't catch that video, go back and catch the replay because if you caught that video, you will instantly know the right answer here. So how it works is comment down below what you think the correct response is and then play back the video for the correct answer and rationale. The nurse is caring for a client recovering from thyroid surgery. The client's calcium level is 7.5. Which nursing interventions should be implemented based on this calcium level? Select all that apply. A, implement seizure precautions. B, assess for signs of hypocalcemia. C, administer IV furosemide. D, administer IV calcium gluconate. And E, assess for signs of hypercalcemia. So, first of all, 7.5 is that high calcium or low calcium. You should know that that is a low calcium level. We discussed in our Facebook Live or our YouTube video, if you caught it on YouTube, how low levels of calcium and magnesium would cause hyperreflexia or seizure-like activity. And you know that because you recognize that high levels of magnesium and calcium sedate patients. So this is getting at a low level, which would be the opposite of that. So how we tackle select all that apply questions is we treat each option as a true or false. So basically, if we rephrase this question, it's asking which of the following would be true of a low calcium level, okay? A, implement seizure precautions. Yes, that is correct because high levels of magnesium and calcium sedate, so low levels of magnesium and calcium cause seizure-like activity. B, assess for signs of hypocalcemia. Yes, we know this is a low calcium because it's 7.5. C, administer IV furosemide. Lasix, right, a diuretic has nothing to do with the situation, so we're not going to choose C. D, administer intravenous calcium gluconate. Yes, that is what we use for low calcium levels to bring the calcium level back up to normal. And lastly, E, assess for signs of hypercalcemia or high calcium. No, this is a low calcium level. So to recap, our correct answers are A, implement seizure precautions, B, assess for signs of hypocalcemia, and D, administer IV calcium gluconate. For the answer to this question and more, and for all concepts simplified, you can check out our complete study packages. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time on our application of In the Know. Bye for now.